to cool. The government confesses that it's baffled. And so the miners' strike continues. And while it continues, coal supplies begin to decline. First hit, of course, is the domestic scene. Miners are stepping up their picketing of supplies, but they've promised that essential services will not be affected, such as hospitals and old age pensioners. Union pickets explain to lorry drivers. The car industry, for instance, could be adversely affected if supplies to foundries are cut because of the industry's reliance on foundries for castings. Police stand quietly by in the background. In an effort to end the deadlock, it's been suggested that union leaders and coal board chiefs should get together as soon as possible. It's expected that the two sides will meet soon and thrash out a solution. The Mine Workers Union say that they're prepared to see Mr. Carr at any time. It could well be an end to the strike. Of course, if you've got the coal, But not all underground news is gloomy, not for Merseyside.